I know what's happening, right? They're going to be in some phase of the spawn, right? The fish are going to be shallow. What a great way to keep this bait shallow and higher in the water column than a weightless stick bait. All that is right there, guys, is it's a it's a little one aught. This is a VMC uh, weedless Nico hook. It's a Nico hook, and this is a hybrid style hook. That's perfect to rig these things so they're lightly weighted, almost weightless, hitting that shallow zone, that surface zone. I always, in my mind, I always like in the spring, summer, and fall, I like to start top, go middle, and go bottom, right? Three zones. What a great bait to start near the top, a weightless stick bait. And I'm gonna rig this five inch stick bait wacky style, and it's gonna give us on that subtle almost super slow fall. It's gonna give us that shaking motion that's an attractor, right? Clean water. Clean water fish like to feed up. They're gonna see that bait land. They're gonna see that wacky soft stick bait begin that, that wiggling process really slow and they're gonna come up and eat it. That's my mindset. I'm gonna rig it wacky. Keep in mind, at this point, this is real life. Nothing's being set up here. This is the first time I've been to this lake since I was a kid. So I am experiencing all this just like you are, right? This might not work. We might have to go to the middle. I might pick up that chatterbait and fish that middle column. I might have to go to a jig. We might have to get on the bottom, right? We're listening to the fish. We're experimenting with the zones. We're matching the forage, right? We're following the clues. All right, I'm gonna start fishing. And I want you to watch and I wanna reinforce the process of how I'm gonna fan cast this area. This is a pretty limited spot. I'm at a boat ramp. I, I've got no bank access that way, no bank access that way. So I've got a little, little pad of space here. And because of that, as a bank angler, you wanna maximize it, right? You wanna maximize the coverage. So I'm gonna to start to my left, and I'm gonna begin that fan casting that we talked about. Every cast, I'm gonna go three, four, five feet over until I keep fanning, 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 until I reach that 180 degree spectrum from bank to bank, right? For sure, as you fan cast, I want you to take extra time on those areas of change, right? Those isolated cover targets we talked about. I see the soft ones right here. I see the lily pads. I see some patches of moss the ramp itself right out here in front of me. And of course, to my right, these beautiful sticks and isolate lay down. So let's get started. I'm excited. All right, so as I start, I like to start on the left. You don't have to start on the left. You can start on the right. You can start in the middle and go right or left. My habit is to start on the, on the left. And my first couple casts that I take in this fan casting Right? I want, you to, I want you to really notice this. My first couple casts are gonna be almost paralleling the bank that I'm standing on, right? I'm gonna go directly to the bank. Keep in mind, guys, I said this is clean water. This is clear water, right? So long casts are gonna be important, right? So you saw that cast with that weightless stick bait. Pretty, got one, big one. Oh my God, first cast, giant. Oh my God, oh my God, yeah, yeah, I got him. <gasps> Dude, this was not a setup, I promise. This was not a setup. Pete Glusick, the Dean, had nothing to do with that. God, this is why I love bank fishing. It's no different than boat fishing. The feeling's the same. Guys, this was literally my first cast. It does not always happen like that. It does not. I got lucky, but I... I want you to step back, stop, and remember what I said. When you catch that fish, dude, I'm excited. Believe me, my heart's pounding. I want to take a, a selfie and I want to let it go. But I have to remember what happened. I threw right at the bank. I cast directly at the bank. And I, I'm, I mean, that bait hit the water. I shook it once. It was falling slow. And that fish ate it. And that's a nice one. That's an over two pound fish. He ate it. And so I need to remember right now what happened. That fish was shallow, 
He was parallel to where I'm standing. The fish was high in the water column. He ate it good. Look at that. You cannot get a better hook set than that's in the top of the mouth, on the wacky rig, slow, long cast, slow presentation. That is the first piece of the puzzle, guys. That's the first piece of the puzzle. And remember, fishing, but especially bank fishing, you need to put all these pieces together. So whew, what a way to start my bank fishing day with a good bass on my first cast. Let's let this thing go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right there, that's one of the best parts of this game, uh, especially when you're bank fishing. Letting that fish go, watching them swim away. Uh, but remember, this is a puzzle. And even though I got a bite on my first cast, I need to keep the thought process going. And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.